how to effortlessly attract your ideal client. A simple four-step process that you can actually implement today. So join in, tag your friends, let me know where you're joining from. And this is perfect for you if you are sick and tired of launching your products and hearing if you would love to share your value with more people. So I know this is a juicy topic um, where health coaches were full of credentials and information, but often we don't have the clients to share it with. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to share with you a simple four-step process to do just that. And in content creation mode for years, and I finally figured it out. And that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. All right, guys, we are live. Everything's good. I just double checked. We're sharing the screen properly. Um, so if you want to learn how to do this, just comment below. I'll let you know. I'll walk you through the process of how to share your screen on Facebook. Super simple. You just hit the live button and then click share your screen. Um, so what we're doing here is I'm going to teach you the exact four-step process. So this is perfect for you if you are sick and tired of grasping for clients. If you are ready to effortlessly attract your ideal client, do this um, juicy attraction marketing that we all have heard of. Um, so I wasn't always this laid back. That's me in the chair there. And yes, I'm a multi-passionate health. I, in the past, was a health coach, a multi-passionate, a high achiever, a perfectionist, a free bird, a travel junkie. So I really didn't like to be tied down. So I knew that there was another way and it was took me about seven years to figure it out. And um, it doesn't have to take you guys that long. Seven years, that's fine, that was my journey, but I'm gonna teach you, teach you today the exact four step process that I did. Um, and this was the turning point when I implemented these four steps, it actually allowed me to do my health business full time and stop being so burnt out and actually um, reach this point of success, which for me was to run my health business full time and to quit all my other jobs. So if that sounds like you, if you have been a health coach for a few years, you're sick and tired of working your day job, or you're just sick and tired of posting and, and getting crickets or getting no engagement and feeling low because you opened your cart and only one person bought, this system and this webinar is for you. All right, so not using a process led me to burnout, which I have some silly pictures there. That's just me when I was fully a dietitian, working as a yoga teacher, I had my reflexology training, and I really hadn't found my passion of what to teach on. So what that led me to was total burnout, exhaustion, scattered energy, resentment. I was resentful for people asking me for free advice, which is a complete money repellent. And now free, people asking me for free advice is like the best thing ever because I can offer them my um, lead magnets or my free offers. And if they're a good fit to work with me, then it's great. So what happens when we're like that is low vibration and, and feeling burnt out is actually a money and a customer repellent. So if you are currently burnt out and you don't have any clients, don't worry. Um, that's normal because people aren't attracted to low energy and burnout. So not to worry, you can do, I'm going to share with you some simple steps you can do today to actually raise your vibe and start working towards your success, whatever that means for you. Okay. So not to worry if you're working full time. When I first implemented these four steps, I was actually working full time as well. And I was able to make my first 5k month in my private business while still working full time. So this isn't going to take over your life. These simple processes and steps that I'm going to share with you are actually very efficient because we love to work smarter, not harder. And I came up with them and it worked for me while I was super busy and burnt out. So um, it'll work for you too if you are working a job still. Um, so don't worry about that. And it's all about vibration. So if you are feeling low, your job is not to sell. Your job is to raise your vibration. So it makes sense, right? If you are feeling low because you hate your job and you just don't like what you're doing or you're not getting any clients, then you 
naturally aren't going to do well in your business because you're not feeling well and people are actually repelled by that. So instead of beating yourself up, focus on the good, be grateful for everything you've accomplished. For example, if you have launched a program and you got one person or crickets, don't worry, you launched a freaking program. And that's the hardest part is actually creating the content and putting it out there. So seeds are planted. That's actually a success. The fact that only one person signed up is fine. And that's the universe setting you up in proper um, alignment. So that's a seed that's planted and people actually have to see things from multiple times to actually purchase. So consider that a win. If all you, if you got your program up and launched and you have your sales page and that's actually three out of the four steps of uh, my process to success. So instead of beating yourself up or going down that whole road of self hate for not getting maybe the clients that you wanted or as many signups, Turn that around to gratitude. And we can do this with our job too. If, if you're still on a job that you hate, mark it as temporary and know that it is actually a stepping stone to your deeper desires and it's there for a purpose. And key thing here, mark it as temporary and be grateful for it and plan your escape plan. Okay, there they are, the four magic steps. This is exactly what I did to change my life and my business, and you can too. So you can start this today. I'm gonna to go into more detail for each of the steps there, so we won't spend too much time here. Step number one is to, of course, clear the clutter. You have to make room for the magic that's about to happen. And if you have no time to do this, don't bother going forward because this is the most important step. And what you can do for an action step and homework right now is actually brain dump list out everything where all your energy is going people places things and rate it from one to ten one is you absolutely hate it it makes you feel like crap ten is you love it and you want to keep it in your life and what do you do if your job or your relationship is an energy drainer you mark it as temporary you don't just throw everything up in the air and quit and run away you create a plan 90 days is my favorite. You create an, an escape plan and even just marking it as temporary is a huge action step. So um, any little things that you can get rid of, great. And this is the first step is actually just creating um, this brain dump so that it becomes a reality instead of just a bunch of overwhelm and scatteredness running through your head. Okay, step two. So if you've done that, you can move on to step two, which is actually niching down. And this word is flying around the internet and you're either going to love it or hate it. Niche down, niche, whatever you want to call it. All that it means is you're known for a specific thing. So people purchase things if it moves them away from pain or closer to pleasure. So you can use that as you create your niche. niche. And I had a referral the other day and I said, what can I help you with? And she said, well, so-and-so said you help health coaches make money in their sleep. And I did a little one of these fist pumps because I, with my messaging is coming across correctly. That is what I do. So what do I want to be known for? I want to help health coaches, uh, or I, I do. I help health coaches grow online. I help health coaches effortlessly attract their ideal client, quit their day job. So figure out exactly if you were to teach on a specific topic for 30 minutes, what would it be? And this is great to have it in your back pocket so that when people ask you to come on their podcast or come speak at an, at an event, you know your topic and you don't have to um, say no or be nervous or do something for the first time because you are an expert in that specific topic. Now, if you can relate this to your personal story, it's going to be so much easier. And I know this just from experience of working in the health field and always selling from a point of view of my client's story. And then I jumped over to what I'm doing now and I'm sharing my own personal story. And it's so much easier to authentically speak. Um, so if you can relate it to your personal story and share that with your audience, great. Action plan. So we all want more money. We all want to grow online but how much and work backwards. So we want to work on a monthly basis of how many clients do you want a month and how much money do you want a month? This doesn't have to be fancy, but it has to be clear and defined. So you may need to rewrite your money story. And a lot of the time before we can offer our product to our audience, we have to actually rewire our brain and get the confidence up so that you can confidently exude uh, you can exude confidence when people are asking you how much your product is because if you get through step one and two 
and three, and then you go to launch your product and you're not actually confident in the price point yourself, you're not going to sell. So a lot of this step three, I'm noticing working with clients is actually rewriting the money story in your head and, um, either adding bonuses or doing your own, um, mind work to really be confident in what you're offering. And there's a few ways that you do this, you can remind yourself of all the training you have and the money you put into your credentials. You can you can charge that amount. Um, so we want to identify exactly how much will come in and how it will. So an example of this would be if you wanted $5,000 to come in each month and you wanted to work with 10 clients each month, that would be $500 program, right? And I always suggest selling programs, transformations, not um, one ofs or um, details of one of services like follow ups and initial consults, that sort of thing instead sell a program or a transformation because people will give you their money if you are helping them transform they're moving away from pain or towards pleasure it's harder to hand over your money if it the title just says initial consult or follow-up right we really want to know what we're getting when we purchase things and how it's going to help us and then the last juicy step that you can do is actually um, write out what you're going to be using that money for so your dream budget and don't just put all your bills put down your travel your yoga your green juices and um, don't be afraid to shoot higher than just your expenses because if you create a business that only covers your expenses then you're still stuck and you're still wishing for more money and you're still maybe working in a job you hate so shoot higher than um, just your expenses and actually put in budget your yoga memberships and all of that and that's actually going to work towards your business um, because what it will do is increase your vibration increase your feeling good and that's when people want to hang around you or purchase your things all right step number four so again um, this is don't worry if you are nowhere near this step because it took me years to get here I was actually stuck in step number three which is like create content and um, an actual program for years and it wasn't until I hired a business coach own um, and I really said I said I'm either gonna close my business or I'm gonna create something so clear and defined that it's one offer because I'm sick of being scattered and bending over for clients so this took me I would say about seven years working in the nutrition field to figure out and then I took action and I made my five grand, which was my first huge success in business and gave me the confidence to quit my day job. So in order to sell, you must get in front of your audience consistently and give them valuable content. And key piece here, make an offer. People have to see things 10 to 15 times to want to purchase. We have to keep reminding them. And with the new social media algorithms, they might not even be seeing your stuff. So get creative. Use event pages. Use um, live video. Use webinars. Use groups. Use guest posting, all sorts of ways. And this is what step number four is, is really figuring out how you're going to get in front of your audience. And then you have to actually ask for the sale. So a lot of people don't want to do this. I understand none of us want to promote ourselves. Um, and if you really don't want to, you must get creative with uh, having yourself an ambassador team or affiliates or paid marketing. If you don't want to ask your clients for the sale, somebody else has to. So what I'm going to be talking about is you asking for them. Um, Cause that's what I love is organic marketing and the business owner themselves actually getting out there and and asking for the sale or offering them something that's really going to help them and benefit their lives. So you can do this authentically by just sharing your story and sharing client stories. And I love to keep launches um, under two weeks. So 10 days is perfect. Two weeks would be the max because you don't want to burn yourself out and you also don't want to um, drag out that energy. So it's really good to cap it, have an end date, have a registration date, um, and then wipe your hands clean, fill yourself back up before your next launch. 
Um, and 90% value, 10% sell is the magic. Um, so you can share with your groups, you can share with your Facebook pages, your Instagram, 90% value. So you're actually giving them free content, free information, a reason to follow you in the first place. And then you can sell about 10% of the time. That's a really good ratio. Um, and keep yourself in revenue generating activities. So what those are is you're actually adding value to your followers you're, and then driving traffic to a specific sale. You're not just saying, uh, giving free information, but you're having a call to action, whether that's come join my free group, work smarter, not harder, and do our free go live for five challenge, or um, book into my calendar to start growing your business today with my free 25 minute clarity call. Um, there's all sorts of ways to give your potential clients a reason and an opportunity to get to know you. And then eventually, if they want to grow or have a bigger transformation, you have your paid offers. Um, and people will actually go through bigger transformations when they pay. Transformation is often in the transaction. So keep that in mind. You're actually disservicing your clients if you don't have a paid offer and they are ready to take massive action and you don't have an offer. All you have is a bunch of free stuff. Um, it would be beneficial to actually have a paid offer for them when they're ready. And how to do this authentically. So a lot of people feel creepy or annoying online. Um, so how I suggest doing this is exactly what we shared in the last slide. So share your value and educate. People will watch you or come to your channels if you are A, entertaining or B, educating. If you can do both, great. Um, and if people don't want to hear it, they'll leave. Don't worry about sharing too much. Um, and run a business. Don't act like you're running just a side hustle because that's how it will stay. So if you really are serious about this, run it as a business and not just a hobby that you're casually posting and asking friends and family, but actually um, schedule into your calendar how you're going to get in front of people and promote your services as if you're running a full-time business. Okay, so just to recap and some, some action steps that you guys can take for homework is the step one is honestly the most important. You can do this over and over again and we have to do this over and over again because when we empty out, we actually, our cup gets filled back up. So do this today if you can, brain dump. So list out everything where all your energy is going and then rate it from one to 10. One is you hate it, you could definitely live without it and 10 is you love it and you want to keep it in your life, get rid of everything below eight. And if below eight is your job or a relationship, don't just throw your hands up and drastically leave, but mark it as temporary, throw gratitude at it, and then make an escape plan. Step number two, you really want to know, uh, figure out what you want to be known for. What's your story? And this could take a long time. So the best thing to do is just start brainstorming. Step number three, again, you, this doesn't have to be set in stone, but start to really think of your dream budget and how much you want to make per month and how many clients you want to uh, work with per month or how many programs you want to sell, how that money is actually going to get into your bank account. And you can work backwards oh, so far back that you can even work back to exactly how are you going to get those 100 people interested watching your web class and then um, taking the final step to signing up. So we're working backwards. We're working from a place of abundance and where, um, how much you want to make and how many people you want to work with. And then step number four is a 10 to 14 day launch. So I know this is a lot of information and don't worry if you, this is overwhelming. And if you're just on step one, that's great. Step one is the best place to start. It's the only place to start. And if you don't want to get rid of stuff in your life, expect nothing magical to happen because we just simply don't have room for it. And a little note here, your current vibe attracts your tribe. So even if you think or you wish you were happier or vibing higher, that doesn't trick anyone. So your first order of business is actually to get yourself feeling good. And then to just brainstorm to how you can get in front of people. And a little note here, you don't have to do everything. I personally don't do in-person networking very often. I mostly do Facebook Lives and Instagram Lives. So it's all about experimenting and figuring out what you love. I love collaborating and guest posting, going on other people's podcasts. Um, reaching out personally sucks. Nobody likes to do it. But again, you may be disservicing your client if you don't do it because 
maybe they're not scrolling on Facebook all the time and maybe they need that reminder. So I personally have had in every launch that I do, I make sure to, in the end stages before I close the cart, to really think of not everyone, but a handful of people, five to 10 people that would actually really benefit and personally reach out to them. Um, and I've had great success with that and people wouldn't have known or signed up or transformed their lives if I didn't do that. So I know it sucks and don't do the blanket, like reach out to everyone on your list Do really give it some thought and who would be, who could benefit from your offer and then reach out personally and talk to them like a human, not a copy and paste. Okay, guys, so for more free trainings, you can come to Stephanie McWilliams Coaching on Facebook as well as Work Smarter, Not Harder. And then, of course, I've got my Spring Mastermind group coming up. So I've got interviews this week on Tuesday, and we're closing it on Wednesday. So I'm taking five health coaches who want to effortlessly attract their ideal clients, and they're sick of posting a million posts and not getting any traction. Um, so I've got my interviews on Tuesday. So if you, if this sounds like a good program for you, if you love these four steps, but you know, you want my help to support you, then this mastermind is a fantastic option because it gives you the, ch the chance to work directly with me, um, without paying the high fee of my course. That's 1500 bucks to coach with me. This one's only 197 for the four full four weeks. And you actually get the peer support as well, which is great. I am such a fan of one-on-one -on -one coaching and personal attention. Um, but I've also been a part of mastermind groups and the um, peer support and the energy of the other like-minded people running through with you is priceless. So with the spring mastermind group, you're going to be with four other amazing health coaches who are too passionate to grow. So if you can imagine that collective energy it makes for abundance and with um, everybody growing online, everyone's going to be supporting each other, lifting each other higher, getting our vibes higher. And then you also get the uh, work welcome workbook upon purchase. So if you are ready to sign up today, we're closing the cart on Wednesday, make sure to book your interview with me because something with the mastermind groups is people have to jive really well. So to protect everyone else in the group, I'm making sure that it is, um, a select five people that are going to raise each other higher. So it really, that's one thing with mastermind groups. If you guys want to run them yourselves, so you really have to protect all of the paying customers and make sure that the group is going to vibe. Um, and then you get the four weeks. So we do four Sunday sessions together, um, noon Eastern standard time. As long as you can make it to three out of four of them, that's good. That's great. And the recording will be available if you can't make one of them. Um, all details are actually in the description here, the event link and my calendar link too, to book in your interview on Tuesday. If you've already worked with me or we know each other, then, uh, and I already know your business and you might not need to do the interview. Just send me a message and we'll connect. All right, guys, that was today's web class. Let me know if you're going to start with any of these action steps because it really just is floating around in our mind until we put it on a piece of paper or tell somebody. And I would love to be that accountability for you. So post in our group or tell me directly what you want to create, what your desired income is, what you are going to manifest. And I'll make sure to keep you accountable. All right, guys, thanks for joining. And I will see you on the flip side.